There's a true coyote story that happened a long time ago when I worked for the government, and we used to do coyote control. And there was a farmer, rancher, out uh, south of town by, by the name of Cahoon, Jim Cahoon. And he was a little bit of a complainer. And he phoned one day and said that the coyotes were eating his lambs. So I went out there and looked, and sure enough, it was a dead lamb that was mostly eaten, and, and the coyote had eaten it. And uh, so I went out the very next morning at daylight, and was going to shoot this oh, coyote. So I, and I was hiding on the hill, uh, overlooking where, they, where he'd killed him before, and, and I was waiting for this coyote to come and kill the lamb. And about just at daylight, I saw the coyote coming through the grass. So I got all ready, and, and she jumped the fence and was coming up, and I thought, you know, if she kills that lamb before I shoot him, this guy's going to think I'm really a punk hunter. And I'll come out here to help him when the coyote kills the lamb. So I thought, well, I, I better shoot this coyote. And, and she, was, she started chasing the lamb. And I thought, oh, geez, I've got to hurry. And I hurried my shot a little bit. And, and, I, and she went down and rolled. But she jumped up and took off. And so I ran over there. And there was a little bit of blood and hair. And, and, uh, so I knew I'd hit her pretty hard. So I, oh, I'll just tell him I killed the coyote. And we're going. So I went back to the, the farmhouse there. And he was just getting up and having breakfast. And I told him, hey, shot your coyote this morning. He said, oh, where is she? He said, oh, she crawled off in the grass there. She'll be dead, though. She won't kill any more lambs. It's oh, great, great. So everything was fine, so I went back to the office. About a week and a half later, he phoned me and says, Phil, i got coyote problems again. I said, oh, are they killing your lambs? He said, no. By God, they haven't lost another lamb. I said, oh, well, I shot the coyote. He said, yeah, but the lambs are just not doing good. And the sheep are really nervous. And I said, oh, not another farmer complaining, not even a dead lamb. So I thought, well, I'll go out anyway. So I went out and I got on the hill, the same hill, and I was waiting. And sure enough, right at daylight, here comes this coyote through the grass. And I've watched this other guy come before and I thought, boy, that looks like the same coyote. It was about the same color and it was moving about the same. And I thought, oh, gee, maybe I didn't get the coyote. But there wasn't a dead lamb. So I thought, well, I better see what's happening here. And she jumped the fence. And then I look in and here come a bunch of pups coming along. And, and they crawled through the fence, and then she barked at them, and they all just stood there. And then she started sneaking up on the sheep. And I thought, what's going on here? No dead lambs, but the coyotes still attacking the sheep. Uh, I, better, I better not shoot until I know, you know, I'll make sure this shot counts, make sure I get her so that, you know, I can show them the big coyote. And so I was going to watch and see what happened. And the coyote what, didn't sneak up on a lamb. She started sneaking up on a ewe. Well, this is odd, because coyotes always take the lamb never take the ewe. Anyway, she started chasing this ewe. And she got the ewe running just full blast. And then a coyote, and then she just ran alongside him. And she just reached up and grabbed the ewe by the end of the nose and, and hung on. And, and of course, the ewe, boom, she was going as fast and she lost her balance. She started flopping and flying and the coyote was rolling with her. And when they got done, the coyote jumped up and the ewe was on her back and he just put her hands on the coyote's chest. I mean, put the, her paws on the ewe's chest. And, and wouldn't let her up. And the ewe's helpless when they're on the back anyway. She kicks a little bit and lays there. I thought, they're not killing any sheep? What's going on? And, she, and pretty soon she let out a <laughs> And here come the six little pups. They come trotting over to where this ewe was. And they started sucking on the ewe. <laughs> and I rubbed my eyes and I thought, oh boy, this is early morning. <laughs> yeah. They sucked on the ewe and I thought, well, I gotta, I gotta find what's going Get a camera. On. So, <laughs> yeah. so I loaded up there and I took careful aim and I shot the coyote. Shot her dead and she fell over dead. And, I, and then you got up and looked off and the coyotes kind of went off in the grass. And I walked over there and here's the, the mother coyote, dead. And I turned her over and it was the same coyote I'd shot before. Oh. But I'd, I'd shot low and I'd shot right down there and I'd shot all her tits off. And she was feeding her pups on the coyote's milk. Wow. Milk. That's crazy. That's a Smart good coyote, huh? story. Yeah. 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 Do you have another yeah, that's a good one. That's, that's my coyote story.